everybody. I wanted to share with you that I love Tuxedo by Yves Saint Laurent. I have it here on this part of my sleeve. It's the dry down and it smells like a boozy kind of vanilla, but this fragrance in the opening, I'm going to spray it on my other arm. It's just, it's like, it opens like very green and fresh almost, but at the same time, it's like, it's, oh shit. This is so good. This is so good. It's very, yeah, it's a lot more fresh kind of green in the opening. At least that's what I smell on it. And then it dries down here to a sweeter, cozy, boozy bourbon vanilla. Now, I did get compliments with this fragrance from someone that was an arm's length away from me and I only did one, oh gosh, I only did one spray from this vial. So I honestly thought that this was a soft performing fragrance. I didn't think anyone would be able to smell it besides myself in my scent bubble, but somebody did. And then when I walked past, when I, I walked past my sister, and then she was also like, man, you smell good. She's like, I like what she's like, what's that fragrance that smells good. So this right here, I wasn't the only one enjoying it today for the most part. You saw me spray Abercrombie and Fitch first instinct, right? But that wasn't the fragrance that caught the attention. And I had about five to six sprays of that on myself. And then I only had one here from Tuxedo, which is great. So I'm going to see how this performs because the last time I tested this, I had other things on me as well. But the air right now smells heavenly. I see this as a fragrance that you can definitely wear on dates. And you know what? I might have, I when I did a first impression video of this, I might have said that it's probably more of an upscale kind of scent. But no lie, with me wearing it with this sweater, it's just very cozy. Like this is a nice cuddly scent. This is something that people want to snuggle into. 110%. So to me, if you're looking for like a sophisticated signature scent, man, this is so good. This is amazing. I would love a full-size bottle of Tuxedo and I would love to try more from Yves Saint Laurent's um, private blend, their Privé line. And I could put them here next to the, uh, the Tom Fords and the Dior's, but the one Dior and the two Tom Fords. But this one amazing amazing i do find that you know how i love ombre nuit right yeah this is very versatile as well so this would be this is really well suited for the night timing i believe nuit means night but tuxedo there's there's just this freshness in it that i think will do well in warm weather so tomorrow this is going to be my scent of the day i'm going to see how it performs as well when it's a bit warmer outside versus a cooler night but let me know if you have any experience with Tuxedo because honestly, people will eat this up. This is a fragrance that's marketed to both men and women. It's it's labeled as a unisex fragrance. I see more men talk about it because, you know, it's, the name of it is Tuxedo. So you kind of assume that it's going to be more masculine. And that was my very first initial impression of it, right? I thought that it was a more masculine scent the first time I wore it. But today, today, I... I mean, I could see this on women as well. And you know what? There's actually a couple very, like I have a couple girls that have DM'd me before asking about this fragrance because they wear it and they're very feminine. So shoot, ladies, give it a shot if you like to. Everything from the Privé line, I believe is unisex. So I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.